Hi everyone, Petal is less here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you some candle holders. So let's get into the items that we'll be needing to make these candle holders. Okay, I got these um silver plastic spoons <laughs> from the Dollar Tree. They come 24 in the pack. And they're nice and silver, so I'll be using those. And I have these tea light holders that I'll be using also from the Dollar Tree. And we have these two vase here from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and we have some bling wrap. Uh, this bling wrap I got totally dazzled. But the Dollar Tree also sells bling wrap. And we have our glue gun, you guys. All right, everyone. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright everyone, we have our spoons and we're just going to break off the top part of the spoons. Just see they break very easy and we'll be gluing them going around our vase. Just apply the glue with the glue gun. You can use the E6000 if you choose to, but I'll be using the hot glue gun today. And now that we've done one row, we're going to start another row, you guys. Just add the glue and place the spoons behind each other. Right behind each other, we're starting another row. And we're going to repeat the steps again to make a third row. <laughs> Place them behind each spoon behind each other and we're going to go right around. <laughs> and now we're going to do the same thing on the smaller vase, but we're only going to do two rows going around. Not three, we're only going to do two for the small one. Okay, you guys, I was going to use the, the bling wrap going around the bottom to cover up the space. But no, I think I'm going to be using the gems. I think it will look much neater if I use the gems and place on each individual spoon at the bottom to hide the imperfections that are showing from where the spoon broke. And you can get these size gems at Walmart or at Michael's. <laughs> it's the small gems, the smaller gems. So you guys can find them, like I said, at Walmart or at Michael's. I'm just thinking about you. Always dreaming about you. And now we're just going to glue our tea light holders onto the bottom of our candle holders. Alright everyone, here's our finished look. I think they look very nice. They look nice and clean and elegant. That's why I just left them clear. Now you can use um, the clear spoons to do this design also. And you can spray paint them any color you want. I wanted a nice clean look. I wanted the silver. Didn't want to go out and spray paint in this cold weather. <laughs> so that's why I used the silver spoon. And I like how they turned out. They turned out very nice. I think they do. What do you think? <laughs> Yeah. And I like how the gems add that touch of bling to the bottom. <laughs> you know I love my bling. I'm glad I didn't have to leave it out. <laughs> Alright everyone, I hope I've inspired you with another lovely DIY for you guys to try. <laughs> and <laughs> thank you for coming on and seeing the DIY that I had to do for today. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. So you can come back and see more of the DIYs 
did I come up with to share with you guys? <laughs> and remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs> Just for you, 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 just for you